You. There's a dust up on the trail. A pale, yellow haze. By default, dust settles. But when it hangs in the air, observant, vigilant, it is because it obfuscates the trail with an enduring intention that goes back to when dust was stone and remembers its form, a secret handshake across calendars. Hush. But through its powdered lineage, it reveals stone's vulnerability. It reveals immutability for the fallacy it is and gives hope that enough rubbing will wear away at the rock. That our archetypes should be painted as a farce, as a tragicomical clown that lives on the outskirts of a page that is turned, finger licked, pinched to the left, as though the left was the past. That your archetype, solidified in celluloid in a genre that lives in the past like your politics, is venerated a gold standard represented in black and white, and that any deviation isn't worth the dust on your boots. Because you believe that the same dust coating your books somehow inoculates their contents from critique, as though time heals all the wounds your ancestors inflicted, as though this land made from all these layers of dust, doesn't have a history outside of the time you've trampled upon it. Me? I don't just mean a time when Texas was Mexico, but from before Mexico was Mexico. This dust that migrates more freely despite checkpoints, despite an icy vigilance, the dust will go wherever the hell it wants. And sometimes, it's up to the complex systems that are the wind's whims. It doesn't know here from there, doesn't know what a map is, let alone lines that carve it up. Dust can be gray. Blur our vision, bespeckle film, so that the image it captures records its presence. Tiny fossils of, I was here, tells a true story of what was hanging in the air, unafraid. It's the kind of presence that is almost imperceptible until you shine the floodlight on it. Hunt it across the desert with your eyes in a circle of brightness that lights up the wild in animals' eyes while ours are dark and tamed and shiver in a deadly breath of a desert's cold. Us? We should all know now that the masculine that urge to purge, to shoot, to kill, to chase the dark, but that this masculine could be tamed, could be allowed to settle, to calm its fragile heart, to wear away at its rocky facade so it softens and isn't afraid of the dark that its core of insecurity be led down a dusty trail, not upon the backs of beasts, those who you kneel upon, or those whose hooves stir up this cloud of brown, but that this core could be tamed like our eyes. That this core of border-prone maleness be tamed to not question the science that is nature's intelligence, not fight its laws that stars write, gravity edits, emptiness approves, and time enforces, that it lets the soot be soot and do what it knows to do. 
Only then can you see that we are all dust to dust to dust to dust to dust to dust to dust. Thank you.